Hello and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today we are looking at Martina Savlakova on the outer in a 5000 in a World Cup. And she's one of the most dominant individuals in any era in distance skating, man or woman. So just an incredible athlete. We're going to look at a couple things about her technique. And she's got a very unique technique, and it's largely because of anatomy. And I've said before, how we're built can inform how we skate. There are certain things we can or can't do as a function of how our bodies are. So we need to work within those boundaries and limits. However, if we figure them out, we can make it work for us instead of against us. So that's, that's what Martina Sabakova has done, and I'll show you what I mean. First, I want to show you her incredible turns, which are, in my view... Um, the main reason for her success, she works her turns relentlessly all through the race. And I just want to show you her second corner here in this 5,000, and I'll show you what I mean. So she's building speed here. Now I want you to watch this turn. It's from... A, a different angle, but you can really see her build the speed. So let's watch it in fast motion first. That is just a beautiful build for a second corner in a 5,000. Let's watch it again. This is absolutely beautiful technique. It's clean as a whistle, as they say. And one thing she, she does extremely well, and I've said this before, notice how this knee is tucked under. Her knee is tucked under her chin here. It's not bowing out. It's not out here. If it were, that blade would come down all messed up. But because it's tucked under, watch what happens. That blade's at a really nice angle here. Instead of being straight up and down, it's at a great angle. That affords her to get this hip into this drive into the ice right away. And watch this thing. She has completely forgotten about that recovery. She's not even thinking about it. Remember, on a turn, think about the turn, the skate you're on, not the skate you're not on. Your recovery will get where it needs to go. Just pressure this skate. So this is done so well. Really big drive. Look at this. Big drive forward. Really nice angle. Flat. Just textbook perfect. And that skates down. That is the best, cleanest turn I've ever seen as far as timing goes. Look at that. The left is, right is down, left is off. Right is down, left is off. She's done before she starts and it's, she's, it's over before she even begins. That's how quick it is. This is amazing drive forward. I've never seen anybody do this as well. Nobody. That's why she's so great. So again, to do this, very it's, it's fundamentals. You really want to lock your position, so no change in position. No bobbing, no up and down. That's the first thing. Second thing, pressurize the skate immediately. There's no dead time, no pausing, no drifting, no dead time. You're pushing on one skate, and then you're giving that pressure to the other skate. So when that skate comes down, you load it like you're trying to push it through to China. You lock it so hard. Then you work against it forward, driving forward. But again, you're not so much focused on the recovery skate. You're still focused on this. You're focused on the skate you're on. Remember, only focus on the skate you're pushing on. The other one will get where it needs to go if you work this skate. Okay? Then, immediately, then you'll be available to immediately load this skate. So that's it. You have to cleanly load the skate. And to do that, you need to be on one skate, not two. You can't straddle. You can't slide this one out to the side. You can't push back. Pretend the skate's not moving and work against it. 
So right here, she's driving so much into that skate, against it, against it, against it, against it, against it, done. So just think of the fundamentals. Remember, you're moving forward at a very fast speed on claps. Work against that skate, drive down into the ice, drive it forward. And pretend that skate isn't even moving, and you'll you'll see some big distance here between skates. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see that skate come down here, and you don't want to see this one slide out, okay? So that's one thing. Now let's look at this exit. Very nice exit, as to be expected. But what I want to show you about her straightaway is it's not a classic straightaway, and that's due to anatomy. She's very narrow. Narrow hips. When someone has narrow hips, it's much harder to keep the knee under the hips. So watch. See that? In, in my lexicon, she's chasing her blade, which means her knee is not under her hip here. It's outside. So she's opening up. So this is, again, like Peckstein has a different straightaway, so does, so does Salvakova, and that's what I want to show you. So not everyone's going to be able to skate in a classic style, but we can make our bodies work in a way that helps us. So because she's so narrow in her hips, it's virtually impossible for her to skate in a classic style, have this knee under here, and move over the skate, skate like we've seen others. But this works for her. Other than that, really, really, she's so strong. Again, it's not about absolute strength these days with claps and in indoor ice. It's about relative strength to your body weight. And she's extremely strong. But I just want to show you that her straightaway is not a classic straightaway. It's not something you really want to copy unless you have a body like her. But she makes it work for her. Let's, I want to show you on one other angle over here. But again, really nice angle. That blade angle is good. This is good. This line is not broken. So she does a lot of things right. But this, this knee being out here outside her head is not something you want to try to do, but again, it works for her because that's how she has to skate because of her body. So an example of a great skater who's um, made use of, of the limits in her anatomy and been successful. And remember, turns rule, and her turns really rule. So look at her corners, and you can really learn from it. I hope you enjoyed that one and learned from it. Please subscribe, share this with others, and um, I really uh, appreciate you watching.